Thank you. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to ask you to turn to page 463 and 464 of this, please. Sure thing. Are you there? I'm there. I'm just okay. reading it. Sorry. And on page 463, line 20, uh, you're asked a question. Mr. Depp, what I am asking you about, and I think your barrister, Mr. Sherborne, agrees, the times we have to factor in, it may be we can put in an agreed local Australian time. But what is important, do you see, is the order that your finger, you have cut your finger off, and straight away, after telling your doctor that you cut your finger off, you are asking for cocaine and ecstasy. Answer, yes, that is what it, question, that is what it looks like. Answer, appears to be, and it is entirely possible that I was in the state that I was in. Did I read that right? Yes, you did. Asking for cocaine. So, we talked about the cocaine and the ecstasy. Let's talk about the, 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 the alter, argument, altercation, that you and Ms. Heard had in Australia. Um, you, you, you testified that you were sitting on a bar stool, right, in, um, in Australia. This is before you, you, So you're fast-forwarding to the, the end of, the, uh, of that argument? Yeah. We've, we've, heard, we've heard your account of the argument, and the jury will hear Ms. Heard's account of the argument. What I want to ask you is some specific questions about you, you're sitting on a bar stool. You've had three or four, I think you said three shots of vodka. I did two um, or three shots of okay. vodka, yes. Yeah. Uh, and you're resting with your hands kind of hanging over the edge like that, right? Uh, well, after the first bottle whizzed past my head and shattered, as I said, I walked around the bar, grabbed the larger, there was another bottle of vodka, the only one there. The larger bottle brought it back and poured another shot and did it. <clears throat> and right, and, and that, that was a, like a, what we call a handle of vodka, is that right? Well, it, yeah, it's one of the larger bottles, okay. with the, it's got a handle on it, yes. Right. And it was, it was full at the time, other than the shot that you poured? No, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a full, full. bottle. No. Okay, um, and, and, and at some point, before you, you claim you sustained an injury to your finger, you were, I believe you demonstrated to the jury yesterday, but you were resting with your three fingers, um, your middle three fingers kind of hanging over the edge. Is that, is that fair? Is that right? Uh, yes, I just had a okay. bottle thrown at me, so I was, when she grabbed the second bottle. Right, I'm just asking where your fingers were, sir, at that point. Your fingers were, your palm was facing down and your three middle fingers were hanging over the edge of the bar, correct? Basically, okay. that's correct. Um, and Miss Amber was seven to ten feet away, correct? Once she walked, yes, once she grabbed the bottle, yes. Okay. And your testimony, and we, we've, we've heard it yesterday, but your testimony is that somehow she wound up with this handle of vodka and, and threw it, and it, 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 it uh, damaged part of your middle finger. But... What, what we didn't talk about, and what I want to ask you about, is it didn't, if it happened the way you said, it didn't, didn't damage any other part of your hand, correct? No other part of your fingers, no, none of the other middle fingers that were hanging over the edge of the bar were injured, correct? Objection compound. We can right. take it piece by piece. None of, the, none of the three fingers that were hanging over the edge of the bar were sustained any injury other than your middle finger, is correct? Um, the middle finger certainly took the brunt of it as okay. the tip, and and there's cut, uh, cut off. There's no there's no record of any glass being found in that middle finger. Correct. Objection calls for speculation. I'm I'm. I, 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 I'll allow it if you can answer. Um, I'm 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 
I'm not a doctor, and I'm not sure what uh, was uh, found in the middle finger. What I do know is that when I went to the emergency room, that they <clears throat> they had to um, inject me with a block to be able to put it into a bucket and and take a wire brush to to scrub it um, all clean because I had all the makeup still left from pirates on there and. Makeup from pirates. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. But neither right. of none of the other fingers on your hand were sustained any injury that you're aware of. Correct? Uh, no, there were there were nothing else was severed. No. Okay, and in fact, it wasn't just makeup from pirates that was on your hand. It was paint that you had dipped your middle finger into to write, along with blood, to write on mirrors and lamps and assorted furniture in the house, correct? Objection, compound. All right, and I'll sustain as to compound. If you... it, there was, it wasn't just makeup. You testified yesterday that it was just makeup from the set of Pirates 5, but in fact, after you sustained an injury to your finger, you dipped it in paint in the house, and you wrote in paint mixed with blood all over the place. Objection, compound. I'll sustain the objection. You dipped your finger in paint in the house and wrote on objects in the house. Objection, correct? compound. I'll sustain the objection. You dipped your finger in paint after suffering an injury. Yes. And then you used that finger to write on objects in the house. Uh, yes that, or no? Yes, that was after I'd, um, after writing on the walls, the uh, blood had kind of dried, as it were, and, uh, and so I, uh, stuck my finger into a can of paint and also, <clears throat> excuse me, mineral spirits to, um, to put my verbal messages onto the wall. And you use your, you use your finger as a paintbrush, right? Essentially, yes. And can we put up um, exhibit 369, please? Um, it might, you know, it, it might be plaintiffs. Let's. <laughs> um, now, Mr. Depp, we're going to, we're going to take a, a look at some pictures shortly, but You'd agree with me that there was quite a bit of damage to the house in Australia after this incident, correct? Um, there was, there was quite a bit of damage to the house uh, during the um, the entire incident. Yes. And you don't remember the television breaking, do you? I remember there was a. I believe there was a coffee cup stuck into the screen or a plate or something like that. And you don't remember the window breaking, do you? I don't remember a window breaking. But you do remember that there was quite a lot of blood everywhere, including on floors and sofas. Well, I'd noticed, that's how I'd noticed uh, that I was uh, leaking. Um, there was heat in my finger and it was, I felt this warmth and this liquid and then I noticed that the tip of my finger was gone. And, and at that point, I think I went into some sort of sh shock or whatever is closest to a kind of nervous breakdown. Yeah, you testified that the breakdown. It's, you, you could have um, also defaced a painting by drawing a penis on it, didn't you? I've never. I don't know about that. I don't remember drawing it's, a penis on a painting. Given the state you were in, it's entirely possible that you did that, even if you don't remember it to this day, correct? Drawing a penis on a painting was not the first thing on my mind. Let's I look. had messages to uh, write, reminders that were for misheard. But you don't deny that a, if a painting was defaced with a penis drawn on it, that that could have been you, even if you were blacked out and don't remember that, correct? Objection, speculation. I'll, uh, if you can. 
this was no blackout. I know you love the word. It was no blackout. It was shock. That, that wasn't my, my question, Mr. Depp, respectfully. It was, you don't deny that you could have defaced the painting in the manner that I just described. Well, given, given that I had written some messages on the bathroom mirror and then misheard, um, uh, added to them, um, it's also not impossible that Ms. Hurd may have drawn a penis on a painting somewhere. I, 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 that's not where I was going. Um, let's take a look at page 451 of your testimony in the UK trial, please. And if you look at page uh, 451, line 21, please, you were asked the question, let me ask you, is defacing a painting something that you are likely to have forgotten? Answer, I recall a painting on a lampshade, on a wall, on a mirror. I remember dunking my finger into paint thinner and using paint when I had run out of blood to paint with, and I could have defaced the painting, I suppose, but I do not remember a painting specifically. Question down below on 452, line 15. So there are parts of this episode that you do not remember at all because that would be quite a big thing, would it not, painting a penis on a picture? Answer, it would be quite a big thing. I do not recall. Question, it is not something you would do by accident, is it? Do you, not, you do not accidentally. Answer, no, I would say not. Question, you have no recollection? Answer, I am sorry, I'm not 100% sure that I can say I did that. Did I read that right? You did read it right, sir, thank you. Let's take a look at um, Exhibit 374, please. Is it Defendant's Exhibit 374? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Depp, do you recognize this as one of the mirrors that you wrote on uh, with your injured finger in March of 2015? Uh, yes, I do. And yesterday you texted, texted, I'm sorry, thought we've seen a lot of texts today. It's all right, I did text yeah. someone yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday you testified that you wrote on the mirror, and I, I don't, I don't remember exactly what you said, but you essentially said that you wrote uh, things about your past with Ms. Hurd or, or grievances that you had with her, correct? Reminders, yes. Okay. Um, Your Honor, permission to uh, move, or I move this in as an exhibit and ask for permission to publish. Any objection? No objection, uh, Your Honor. 374 in evidence. Move and publish. just blow that up a little bit if we're possible. So on this, which you, you wrote on with your severed finger, you wrote in some, some mix of paint or blood starring Billy Bob and Easy Amber. Yes, sir. Miss Hurd arrived directly in Australia from filming the film London Fields in England <clears throat> with Billy Bob Thornton, correct? That's correct. And you hadn't seen your new bride in three or four weeks, and she arrives. You're not happy about her filming with Billy Bob Thornton, and so as part of this altercation incident, after your finger is injured, you write starring Billy Bob and Easy Amber on the mirror, correct? Objection compound. I'll sustain the objection. I'll move on. Okay. Let's pull up exhibit 375, please.
This is, Mr. Depp, do you recognize this as uh, another mirror on which you wrote with your in blood and paint uh, after your finger injury in March of 2015? Yes, sir. That's in the same uh, bathroom. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, uh, move for admission of Exhibit 375 and request permission to publish. No objection, Your Honor. 375 in evidence. Published. Can we please pull up uh, Exhibit 377, please? Mr. Depp, um, this is a picture of a lampshade that you wrote on uh, after you sustained a finger injury on March 8, 2015, correct? That's correct. Okay. Your Honor, move for admission of Exhibit 377. No objection. All right, 377 in evidence. You can publish. Permission to publish. And on this lampshade, um, which appears to be sitting on the ground, you write some mixture of blood or paint, good luck and be careful at top. Yes, correct. Correct? Yes. I thought it was good advice. Okay. Now, You have never, and I know Ms. Hurd will give her account of this uh, of this incident later in the trial. Um, just to be clear, you have never seen Amber inflict harm on herself or on her arms or anything like that, correct? Objection compound. Sustained. You've never seen Amber inflict harm on herself? That depends on your definition of harm, sir. I, I, I... That's quite a broad word. Can you please pull up your UK testimony at page uh, 434? Objection, Your Honor. May we approach? Yes. Mr. Depp, are you um, are you there on page 434, line 25? 434, okay. <clears throat> yes. And uh, in the UK trial, were you asked this question and did you give this answer? Question, you have never seen her inflict harm on herself, on her arms or anything like that during the time you were with her? Answer, no, no. Did I read that right? I don't see it on... Page 434. Uh, can you? Uh, you got to go to the top of page 435. So, sorry if I wasn't clear. Let's go. Oh, 435. Let's, okay. Yeah. So the bottom of page 34. Question: You have never seen her inflict harm on herself, on her arms, or anything like that during the time you were with her. And then the answer at the top of page 435 is no, no. Did I read that correctly? You did. Thank you. Um, now, 
you testified yesterday that when you went to the hospital that you told them um, that you had uh, injured your finger in an accordion door. Remember giving that testimony? Yes, I do. Uh, that's actually not true, is it? You, you, you actually told the hospital uh, that you had cut it off with a kitchen knife. Isn't that right? No, that's not true. Can you pull up Exhibit 360, please? I believe there was uh, one of my team who might have said that to the doctor, but that was not my, um, those were not my words. At any rate, we were looking to keep Amber's name out of it. Mr. Depp, I'm not going to move this exhibit into evidence, but do you see the, the portion um, where, where it says, thanks for seeing and treating this patient? You see that? And then right after that, it said, he sustained an injury to his right middle finger tonight after accidentally cutting it with a kitchen knife. You see that? I do see that. And there's no mention of an accordion door in that document, is there? I'll, I'll read it if you like, but... Uh... That was the, I didn't sign my name to this. Um, and that's not my statement to them. I, I used the accordion door. You, you testified yesterday that you told. excuse, then I, I, I can't help you. You testified yesterday that you told Dr. Kipper uh, that Ms. Hurd had, in fact, been responsible for your finger injury. Do you remember giving that testimony? Yes. Uh, but in fact, in subsequent communications to Dr. Kipper, you reference more than once that you chopped off your own finger to Dr. Kipper, correct? I think the key word is chopped off my own finger. Um, when you say to someone, I've chopped my, I've chopped my finger off, um, that's just going straight to the fact. You don't get into, um, she did this, I did that, this, that. My, fing my finger's been chopped off. Okay. Let's take a look at Exhibit 398, please. I'd like to, to direct your attention, sir, to um, the text message number 94, which is a text message from you to Dr. David Kipper on March 19th, 2015. Do you see that? Um, I will in a second. Sure. 94. Uh, I think this is, uh, yes, March 19th, so I was in Los Angeles, yeah. Uh, I see the I see the text your honor I would move for the admission of this exhibit with just that text uh, displayed in every identifier redacted uh, no objection your honor all right if we could do that redaction please. thank you your honor It was a pathetic attempt at humor. My apologies. <clears throat> All right, three ninety eight in evidence as redacted. a little bit more thank you so in this text message from you to dr. Kipper on March 19 2015 
You text him, my most sincere apologies to you, Doc. I understand your decision based on my immunity to do the right thing. And I truly do thank you for your concern. I must apologize for not having had the presence of mind to respect the man who has been the most kind and who has done more for me than anyone ever. There was no call for my spineless and base behavior toward you. I honestly understand the reasons for your concerns in your letter and can say to you now, they no longer are an issue. Thank you for everything. I have chopped off my left middle finger as a reminder that I should never cut my finger off again. I love you, brother, Johnny. Did I read that right? You did. And Ms. Hurd was not on that text message, was she? No, she was not. No. Uh, can you take that down and put up uh, exhibit 499, please? And I'd like to, um, I'd like to direct direct your attention to item thirty nine. Um, the second text down, which is a text message exchange between you and Aaron Borum, Dr. Kipper's nurse, on October thirty first, twenty fifteen. Do you see that? Yes, I do. Um, Your Honor, I'd move for admission of this exhibit um, with just that text message. No objection. All right. If we could redact it. And the appropriate redactions. Thank you. And in this text message from you to Dr. Kipper's nurse, Aaron Borum, in October of 2015, uh, you say, and I'll just try to read the relevant part, sent huge text to Kipper, no response. He's an odd duck, old Kipper. This is the second time that he's held off giving me meds by blackmailing me into seeing him. The first time, I had just chopped my finger off. Hmm. Oh, well, I want off of the majority of the stuff anyway. I guess that's a new way to stop. X. Did I read that right? You did, sir. And Amber is not on that text exchange, correct? No, she's not. I'd like to, um, if we can pull up uh, Exhibit 343, I believe it's Plaintiff's Exhibit 343, and th this is this is where you tell Amber in a recording that you, you mentioned the day I chopped my finger off. So let's listen to that. Are you, are you entering a 343 into evidence? Yeah, I think it's plaintiff's. It's 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 the same one that was played yesterday. I believe that's okay. plaintiff's 343. 343. Are you in evidence? And just for the record, which portions are you telling? Sure. Okay. Which portion are you playing? Are you I'm playing. Um, 202.15 to 202.19. Is that right? I don't know if we'll be able to get it exactly right, so there's a second or two on either side, but we'll All do right. our best. That's fine. the date of this recording. Mr. Uh, Rottenborn? What's the date of the recording? I don't know. It's a plaintiff's exhibit. I'm not a, I don't know the date of the recording. Okay. Oh. 
fight you're talking about? I don't know. I'm talking about Australia, the day that Now I we're talking about Australia. Face. Okay. Yes. You hear that? When you said the day I chopped my finger off? Let's, let's play it again. Let's That'd speak be great. Thank you. Fight you're talking about. I don't know. I'm talking about Australia, the day that now I Now we're talking about finger. Australia. Okay. Are, are you sure that's... Yeah, let's do it one more time. What I'm actually saying? Don't, or is it the day that I got my finger chopped off? No, no, you say the day that I chopped my finger off. So let's play it one more time because I think I left out the word that. It says the day that I chopped my finger off. Fight, you're about, I don't know I'm talking about Australia the day that now I we're talking about Australia. Okay. I'm not so sure. In fact, earlier you had quoted Jerry Judge from a, the airplane tape is calling me an asshole. Um, but wait till the asshole falls asleep. And I'm positive that those words never left his mouth because he was he would have, if I would have been making those noises in the bathroom, he would have ripped the hinges off. Maybe they left his mouth when you were passed out, sir, respectfully. Let's listen to this one more time. I don't think he was, uh, I don't I'll think sustain. he was. Yeah, I'll, strike. I'll, I'll sustain his argumentative and I'll move to strike. All right, next question. Yeah, I just wanted to play this video, this one more time. We can move on. Let's bring up exhibit 380, please. 380. This is another recording, Your Honor. Um, I don't know whether it's been admitted into evidence yet. 380, plaintiff's 380 or defendant's 380? I, bel I believe it's defendant's. I left my cheat sheet. Thought it was an easy question. I, I'm sorry. I, it's, okay. Three. I had it written down and right. don't have it in front of me. Oh. Proceed. They're both odd. You both 380. Plaintiff's pl pl 380. Plaintiff's 380. Okay. Yes. All right. I don't know if that's in evidence or not. Is plaintiff's 380 in evidence? No. 